And what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Excel Your Sub for another video. Hopefully you guys are all doing awesome. So today guys, we have yet another sales video for you. And I think, hesitantly, this sales video is going to get us completely caught up on all the sales from the last couple months. Um, sales have sort of been, instead of having a lot of smaller sales lately, it's just been a couple of big sales here and there. So hopefully this will get us caught up fully on these sales videos and we can be up to date. If you guys see any of your purchases in this video, definitely be sure to go let me know down in the comments. And once again, thank all of you guys for your purchases and your support of the channel and the eBay store. But uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump into these accelerator sales. And next up, we sold a lot of 15 Newman Smith cards. Let's flip them real quick. It was a lot of uncommon. So copy of Navigator, Sound Buffer, two copies of Spike Tires, Torqued Hollowback, two copies of Proto Sharks, two copies of Racing Slicks, Carnivorous Plants, Anti-Gravitation, The Ruins Realm, Sand Speed, Dual Driller Hyperpod, and Torque Rolling Thunder to wrap it up. Total on this order was $60, even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, next up we sold a lot of three Loose Mint Accelerators cars, which were a CM6 Orange Wheel Drift Tech, which I've been actually starting to run a little bit low on, I'm not gonna lie. At one point I had like 30 of them, but uh, they've been moving pretty quickly recently. Then a CM6 Ratified and a CM6 Iridium, absolutely gorgeous. Can't say enough about Loose Mint Iridium, they absolutely gleam. Total on this order was $38, even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a CM6 Loose Mint Metalloid from the Silencers team to a new buyer. So total on this order was $28, even once you include shipping. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of 23 total near mint cards. Let's flip through them real quick to another new buyer. It was Torqued Pile Driver, Endure, Sound Buffer, Vector Nitrium, two copies of Avalanche, RDO 7 version 2, two copies of Mega Charger, two copies of Soundproof, Nitrium, Two copies of Slalom, two copies of Draft and Pass, two copies of Slam Ram Hyperpod, everything's better in twos, Torqued Jaw Jammer, Visor Mask, Hyper Power Rage, which I'm now out of stock on by the way, then a regular Power Rage and a Torqued Hollowback. The total on this order was $54 even to that new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up we sold another lot of eight Nirmatomet cards, which included some uncommon ones. Let's flip through them. It was Carbide, Vector Octanium, Vector Technetium, which I'm now out of stock on again, Power Bomb the Neon Pipeline Realm, the Junk Realm, the Solar Realm, and the Water Realm. So a bunch of Realm cards move in there. The total on this order was $37 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And the last order of the day, guys, was a doozy. It was a pretty big order. It was a lot of near mint to make cards. I'm not gonna flip through them because they were mostly commons and uncommons. And then it was a Gen 2 carded Acceleron Series Spine Buster. Definitely love the paint job on this car. Can't say enough about the Spine Buster model in general. And the same buyer also purchased a carded 2005 edition Spine Buster. And this was the CM5 Spine Buster with the chrome engine. That is definitely an unreal combo. Cannot say enough about how good this car looks. And uh, it's definitely pretty hard to find those chrome engine Spine Busters in good condition. So your best bet of getting one in good condition is to buy it carded, unfortunately. And the same buyer also purchased the Starter Set Exclusive Synchro. I guess you can call it the Accelicharged Synchro with the... Uh, Super sick green paint job. Love that car as well. I think I had like two of those as a kid. I want to say I bought two loose starter sets or two starter sets as a kid because I had lost one of these synchros or something and I wanted to get another one. I don't remember off the top of my head. But uh, anyways, the grand total for all these items here was $235 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy your spine buster army. All right, guys, we had a bunch of sales last night. It's kind of funny. I go like a day or two without any sales and then boom, all of a sudden it's like six or seven all at once. So the first things first, we sold the three hyperpods from the wall of power. These were all new in package. We've got the carpoon hyperpod here we've got the slam ram hyperpod here and the dual driller here that came with the power bomb rdo6 and drift tech no uh no sinistros shredsters whip creamers here but the grand total on this order was 208 dollars even to a new buyer i believe so thanks for that purchase and hopefully you enjoy your set of hyperpods and next up a bunch more carded cars selling this time it was a carded cm6 carbide from the silencers team one of my favorite carded cars in that line Total on this order was $38, even to a return buyer, I believe. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold a lot of three carded Teku cars. It was a CM6 Blackwing Synchro, a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, and a CM6 Baseline. And I was kind of thinking about holding on to the baselines just because they seem to be jumping in price a little bit over the last couple of weeks. You know, they were selling like 34 to 36 bucks for a while. Now it seems like they're hitting the $40 range and then some are listed for 45. And Normally that, uh, that's kind of the route that uh, high voltage and power rage took. So who knows, maybe baseline will be going through the roof before too long here. But anyways, total on these three cars was $97, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two loose man cars, which were a CM6 RDO3 and a CM6 RDO4, both the uh, matte black variations. 
total on this order was $48 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a lot of six loose mint metal maniac vehicles, which were a CM6 Rolling Thunder, a, or CM5, excuse me, and then a CM5 Powerbomb, a CM5 Riveted, a CM6 Jackhammer, a CM5 Satin Red Hollowback, absolutely gorgeous, a CM6 Ratified 2, wrap it up. So a great looking lot of Metal Maniacs cars here. Just missing what, a Spinebuster, Flathead Fury, and Pile Driver. The grand total on this order is $76 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy your cars. And last order of the day was a lot of 20 near to mint Accelerators cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was a bunch of Realms and Accel Chargers. So we have Slip Grip, Sprout Road, Sound Buffer, Hydro Glide, RDO One, The Ruins Realm, Folding Corners, The Monument Realm, RDO 2, The Warped Realm, RDO 5 Version 2, The Cavern Realm. This was my last copy of The Cavern Realm for the moment, so we're out of stock on that. Then Night Sight, look at that. We got The Cavern Realm and Night Sight back to back. That is poetic. Then we've got Impervious Tires, The Chrome Realm, Sand Speed, The Labyrinth Realm, Undistort, one of my favorite card arts in the card game. RDO 8 version 2 and Navigator to wrap it up. The total on this order was $100 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys. So we had a whole bunch of sales to go through from over the weekend. First things first, it was a lot of seven loose used condition cars. I think some of them were lightly played. Some of them were heavily worn. Um, I didn't really keep too close of track on them. Like the Spine Buster, a chip spoiler. There's some scuffing on the Iridium, so on and so forth. So it was an Iridium, a Spine Buster, an RDO 6, Rolling Thunder, a Purple Spine Buster, a Nitrim and a Drift Tech to wrap it up. The grand total on this order was $49 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold two Looseman cars, which were a CM6 Octanium and a CM6 Excelium. So a little bit of silencers love here. The total on this order was $38 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then next up, yet another order of Looseman cars. This was a CM6 Jackhammer and a CM6 Baseline. It was the last Baseline that I have in stock at the moment. So the total on this order was $34 even to another new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold four near intimate realm cards, which were the junk realm, the swamp realm, the monument realm, and the cosmic realm. So almost the four starter set exclusive realms just uh, with the cosmic realm swapped in for the ice realm. Total on this order was $20 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold a carded RD10. This one did have a pretty beat up blister. As you can see, there's a lot of creasing up in the top half of it, but the bottom half actually was not in that bad of shape. Kind of funny, I was just the top half. But uh, anyways, the total on this order was $54, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then the last order from over the weekend was the Gen 2 Stripped Metal Series Iridium. I'm a big fan of this Iridium. I love the Sounders logo on the back. Cannot go wrong with anything Stripped Metal. So the total on this order was $54, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And that will wrap up the weekend. And next up, guys, we sold this lot of eight new and packaged McDonald's Accelerators cars. This was only, I think, five unique ones. There were three sets of duplicates, which were the Riveteds, the Baseline, and the Iridium. And then there was a Synchro and an RDO 6. So the total on this order was $32, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, next up, we sold four more Loose Mint Accelerators cars, which were my only CM6 Battle Spec, a CM5 Powerbomb, a CM5 Rolling Thunder, and... I believe this was my last CM6 Carbide. I'm a big fan of Carbide, as you guys probably already know. But uh, I mean, honestly, if you're a fan of Spectre, you probably like Carbide too, just similar style cars. But uh, the total on this order was $83, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a lot of three more Looseman cars, which were a CM6 Anthracite, a CM6 Orange Wings Drift Tech, and a CM6 Black Wing Synchro. Synchro always moves in tandem with other Teku cars. It's very rare to sell a Synchro by itself. It always has a baseline or a Drift Tech with it. And the same buyer also purchased a carded RDO9. This was the last carded RDO9 that I had in stock. Total on this order was $106 even for all of these items here to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, we had a whole pile of sales last night. Let's go through them real quick. It was a bunch of carded cars, first of all. So the first one was a carded Metalloid that did have a nasty crease. Oh, maybe it didn't. I might be getting confused. I could have sworn it had a nasty crease on the top, but uh, maybe not. All my uh, carded cars are kind of running together for me at this point. So the total on this order was $42, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold the carded factory sealed set Flathead Fury from the Wall of Power, guys. Going out to a new buyer also, which is pretty cool, but uh, cannot get enough of that factory sealed set sticker. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a one of 500 car, and there's been quite a few of these factory sealed set cars popping up over the last couple months. Uh, I think a lot of sellers are breaking apart those factory sealed sets to uh, cash out on them. But it definitely hurts me a little bit to see these uh, factory sealed sets broken up. Uh, I think it's pretty cool to have a, a sealed one. So uh, anyways, the buyer purchased the carded Flathead Fury for $240, and he also purchased a Loose Mint Purple Spine Buster. So we got a little bit of wild love here. 
but uh, the total on this whole order was 240 plus 20, I believe, for this car plus shipping. So right, $260 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, yet another carded car. We sold a carded RDO1. Total on this order was $53 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, next up, we sold a lot of eight carded Highway 35 World Race cars. This was, I think, there weren't any duplicates here, but they were all common. So it was a Nomad, a Roadrunner, a Motocross, then it was a Pontiac Rages, a Backdraft, a Ballistic, a Zotic, and a Sweet 16. So a whole bunch of comments here. Total on this order was $145, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, next up, we sold a whole bunch of Accelerators cards, and they were almost all foil cards. It was a pretty expensive order. So first things first, we had a copy of Hack Mimic which was my last copy. And then we had two copies of Moscarillas and then we get into the fun stuff. So first up, it was a foil vector cub light. Love the background art on this card. And then the sister card to it, which was a foil vector carbide. So vector carbide and vector cub light and same buyer also purchased a foil hyper reverb. Definitely one of my favorite cards in the game. I say that all the time. And then another one of my favorites, which was the foil torqued spine buster. Then the same buyer also purchased not one copy of foil strato thruster, not two foil strato thrusters but three copies of strato thruster foil card so a whole army of foils here so one two three four five six seven eight eight foils oh wait no my math is terrible one two five seven, seven foils in total plus some uh some regular commons and uncommons so the grand total on this order was 185 dollars, even to a return buyer so thanks for that purchase hopefully you enjoy all these foils and when it rains, it pours, guys, as far as foil cards selling. So then we had another buyer come in almost like an hour later and make another massive purchase, which had a bunch of foil cards. So first things first, it was a Ratified 2 and then a foil size scalar card that we pulled in the last pack opening. Absolutely gorgeous. These are just tons of great card arts on these cards today that are selling. Then a foil hyper chicane. This was the last one that I had in stock. And then the sister card to it, which was the foil hyper reverb. This was my last hyper reverb that I had in stock. So we're now out of stock again. And then a foil torque spine buster card, just tons and tons of great card arts. And the last card was a foil armored plow. So five more foil cards selling here. I wish the uh, the light could illuminate them without uh, making them look so dull. But uh, oh well, just know they look fantastic. So the grand total on this order was $150 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then the last purchase of the day was a carded orange wing synchro. This was one of the metallic orange ones, not the plastic ones. And uh, the same buyer also purchased a loose mint CM6 jackhammer. So no loan pork chop moving here. The grand sold on this order was $73, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold yet another Gen 2 car. So the Gen 2 Accelerator Series Anthracite. This was the last one that I had in stock. Sold to a return buyer for a grand total of $62 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. These Gen 2 cars are selling pretty quickly. All right, guys, next up, we did sell this loose rocket socket hyperpod that was in heavily worn condition and had some broken pieces. Both of those side pieces are broken off. Still have one of them. So maybe the new buyer or the new owner can find some way to piece it back together by, uh, I don't know. It's got, it's pretty messed up. So probably not, but I'm going to send him the piece anyways, just in case he can do something with it. But uh, it does still work. It comes with some new batteries. I'm just going to go ahead and show one last time on camera that it does work. So hold it down, wheels rocking and rolling. So the grand total on this order was $70, even to a return buyer. And next up, we sold a lot of four loose, lightly worn cars, which were a CM6 RDO6, a CM5 Hollowback, CM6 Drift Tech, and a CM6 Nitrim. Running real low on these used condition cars again. Total on this order was $30, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. The next order was a Carta Technetium. This was the one that had a lot of damage to it. Um, or not a lot of damage, I should say. It's still factory sealed, but it does have some yellowing down there on the bottom of the car and on the back. It almost looks like it was stuck against the plastic somewhere warm maybe and it like melted to the plastic a little bit so it's got a uh, scuff on the back part too but it is still completely factory sealed which is cool so uh the carded technetium and the same buyer also purchased the loose technetium that i had this was technically loose mint it came right out of the packaging but it did have some yellowing on the back of it and uh, you can kind of see it in the grooves on the side so uh two kind of worn technetiums i guess but it's funny because they both came directly out of the package and one's still in the package, but that's just the way it goes with some of these silencers vehicles. The grand total on this order was $60 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we had an order of near mint to mint trading cards. Some of these were actually paid for with part of the cash prize from the trivia contest, which was pretty cool to see a cash prize turn into some trading cards. That's pretty neat. So the cards in this order were Air Refresher, Kamikaze Semis, Ice Yeti, Vectra Iridium, which I'm running real low on, Vectra Nitrium, Hyper Nightlife, Torqued Flathead Fury, Torqued Ratified, Torqued Jaw Jammer, Powerbomb, 
hollow back and traction control. The grand total on this order was like $44 even, but with the cash prize, it came out to only like 24. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. Right, next up, we sold a lot of six near Nirmatan cards, which are all shift cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was Burnout, Soundproof, Visor Mask, Slayla, under the hood and emergency brake. The grand total on this order was $10 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then you guessed it, yet another lot of Nirmitz Mint cards was seven this time around. So it was two copies of Asphalt Anchor, a Cosmic Realm, two copies of Hyper Beams, a Canyon Realm, and a Mega Base Box. The grand total on this order was $20 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And then we sold a lot of three loose mint cars, starting to run a little low on loose mint cars here. We sold a CM6 RDO4, a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, and a CM6 RDO6. Great looking group of cars here. Drift Tech flanked by some drones. The grand total on this order was $44, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And the last order of the day was a starter set kit that was makeshift that I made. So it had uh, two starter decks and the starter set case that came with the tokens inside. Um, these decks are almost identical to the actual starter set decks. I wanna say like six cards were swapped out or eight cards were swapped out. So it's 72 of the exact same cards from the original 80, but uh, the other eight were swapped out for cards that fit just as well in the deck scheme. So, you know, I don't wanna put cards in there that aren't gonna work with the other cards. But uh, for all intents and purposes, it is an almost identical starter set kit. But uh, the grand total in this order was $175, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy your game. And next up, we sold another lot of 13 near to minute trading cards. Lots of trading cards moving this week. It was Aero Fresher, Endure, Jaw Jammer, Swamp Realm, Aero Package, RDO3, Downshift, Riveted, Ratify, Mutant Vultures, RDO6, four wheel steering and asphalt anchor to wrap it up. So 13 cards total to a return buyer. The grand total in this order was $20 even. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys. So the first order of the day was another lot of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards. Haven't sold one of these in a little while, but the grand total on this one was $36 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold two near mint cards, which were Reaction Time and the Labyrinth Realm, which I think I only have a handful or three or four more copies of. So if you're missing it, don't hesitate to get it. Total in this order was $12 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, next up, we sold two lots of 22 lightly played, heavily played cards. One featured a Micro Realm card, which is pretty rare, and the other one featured a Warped Realm card. The grand total on this order was $58, even to a new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold a lot of three near to make cards, which were an RDO 6, an RDO 8 version 2 card, and the foil chrome globes that we pulled in the last packet opening. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the card art on it. Grand total on this order was $43, even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And that is going to wrap it up for the sales video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerators for more Accelerators-related content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.